Hey, how's it going, everyone? I want to go over an update with you guys on the overall market as a lot of people have been asking about one specific question, and that is if the market is going to crash. So I'm going to go over an update with you guys on the SPY, QQQ, and the IWM, and exactly which support levels we are going to be trying to hold in the next couple of days, because if we don't, then we could possibly see a huge sell-off going into the next couple of days, which I'm also going to go over an exact analysis on which resistance levels we're trying to break. So that way, um, we can know exactly when the market is getting healthier. So um, again, I do appreciate all the love you guys have been showing me in the comment section. As always, much love to you guys. And if you guys have not subscribed, we do go out Monday through Friday on entries and breakouts. So definitely subscribe if you guys want to see more entries and breakouts and alerts that we do set for every stock so that way you guys do not miss out on them. So again, I'm going to go over SPY as the first one. This is um, a lot of the airlines, um, retail and uh, restaurants that you see out there. So um, we did hit these levels a few times. You can see um, this is the third time that we did hit it and we could possibly even see a shoulder down here and possibly even a sell-off. So um, again, we did hit this the third time here. This is when um, Janet Yellen did mention that we might have an increase in capital gains. Again, that was just mentioned. Um, we do have these levels right here that we are consolidating in and it looks like we did start to have a sell-off towards the end of the day. Um, in my opinion, that's very bearish. We could possibly see these levels get tested again. And if we see this tested again, in my opinion, after the fourth time, we may even see um, that sell off. We're going to be trying to hold over 411 going into tomorrow and um, the next day. So that is very um, um, key. If we cannot hold those levels at 411, then we will be coming down all the way to our previous consolidated point around 406. And we could see a huge bounce from there for sure, in my opinion. And we will be looking for that bounce if it does drop below 411. But I do believe um, going into the next couple of days, um, is one of the most scariest times that we have had in the last few months. So we are definitely going to be careful. That is not. That is also why I'm not posting um, too many stocks going into tomorrow because um, if the market does sell off, then just like we saw today um, towards the beginning of the day that we saw um, almost every single stock getting pulled down with the market. So we are going to be careful. Um, um, there are specific plays like um, AMS and, and other plays like that could that could possibly break out going into tomorrow. But um, those are for scout plays, but as far as swing plays and um, anything um, more than short term, extremely short term, in my opinion, we are going to be careful as, like I said, the market could come down and test this area again and possibly even go below 411. And if that did happen, then you'll probably see all your friends and family talking about um, how the market's crashing. But in my opinion, at that point, it actually would only be um, coming down for a bounce. So the answer to that question, is the market going to crash? The answer to that is um, this is not a crash coming down to this support level, in my opinion. This would be more of a bounce play. Um, I would not be happy about it, obviously, because any of the long plays that we're holding would be going down. But however, there's a lot of uh, money to be made when it does come down this way. And I do believe that th this would be more consolidation for um, a possible bull run going into the near future if it did happen. So um, we are going to let the play come to us on the overall market. We're definitely not going to be um, in my opinion, overzealous with um, the plays that we're making again, because we are expecting possibly a sell-off going into tomorrow, um, going into this huge shoulder down, down that we see here on the SPY. So um, the same thing goes with the QQQ. You can see that we have um, a very similar setup here on the QQQ. This is a lot of the tech companies that we see like PLTR, a lot of EV companies, right? Um, we have a lot of these happening. We can see that it is curling down. It actually looks a little worse, a lot worse than SPY. Um, we could possibly see it test these levels right here when we did consolidate. And if we do test these levels, in my opinion, then we could possibly see a nice bounce play from here. Um, in my opinion, um, if we do drop below that, then we would be dropping around 314. But um, in my opinion, going into tomorrow, um, I would not be exactly too highly invested in tech right now. I'd probably wait for the market to sell off, like I said, on SPY and the QQQ. You can see that we are having the same momentum shift and possibly that shoulder down that we do not want to see. So um, again, we are going to be trying to hold these levels here um, around 326. And if we cannot, then we may see a bounce here at 324. Um, but like I said, if the QQQ is spy and um, the IWM here that I'm going to show you guys right here do sell off, then we may see um, a huge sell off going into tomorrow. So again, IWM, same thing here. Um, you can see that we did hit these lows multiple times. Um, we are going to be trying to hold above this 215 mark going into tomorrow. We can see the shoulder down almost coming out, um, almost trying to complete here. Um, you can see that we are uh, very close to testing these lows uh, multiple times. We see the 50 MA above the 20. We know what that means. It's very bearish. Um, until this 20 MA turns, it turns around and crosses above the 50 and these candles do um, bounce back, then we will possibly see more of a sell-off going into tomorrow with the IWM as well. So the IWM represents a lot of these penny stocks that we're playing. Um, a lot of the plays that I actually post about are the, in the IWM. So um, we are going to definitely be careful with the small cap companies as we have been previously. We had a nice run but we definitely want to be careful as, again, 
if the market does sell off going into tomorrow, especially with SPY, QQQ, and the IWM all moving at once, then we could possibly come down and test these levels at 215. And in my opinion, it, for of a small cap company, um, if you do have a sell off like this, then you might have a huge loss in my opinion. So again, that is the overall market. We are going to definitely be careful going into the next couple of days. Um, in my opinion, I will be only scalping plays. Um, not be, I'm not going to be swinging anything, even with earnings coming up. Um, based on the levels and based on the market conditions, in my opinion, um, we definitely are going to be careful. So I'm going to go over the spiral quick one more time. Um, again, we're going to see if we can hold over 411. Um, if we don't, we're going to drop down to 406. And um, if we can break above these levels here around um, 417, then we could see a huge, nice bullish run going into tomorrow. But like I said, the 20 MA, 50 MA, it looks like it is starting to cross down. We could possibly see a sell off and a shoulder down on the spy. So we are going to be trying to break over 4, uh, 417 going into tomorrow. That is what we would be hoping for, in my opinion. But based on the sell off towards the end of the day, then um, we may just see that test down here and it may need to test down here and bounce off of it to give us those highs at 417 again. Um, but based on the way that it's shoulder down, like I said, we may even see that huge sell-off. So that is why I'm more leaning towards bearish than bullish at this point on the SPY. And then the QQQ, same thing. We're going to be trying to hold these highs here. Um, it looks like pretty bearish on the QQQ. I'm not going to lie. It looks like it is overall kind of falling over. And it looks like we are going to be trying to break out of these levels at 331 at some point and hopefully bouncing off of these um, lows that we did get to. And hopefully by tomorrow, we do have a huge bounce and we come up to around 331 on the QQQ. So um, again, the reason I want to show you guys this overall is because I wanted you guys to see exactly how bad the market really is. And to also answer the question that if the market is crashing and the answer to that question, in my opinion, is no, um, we may just see a nice bounce and a possible bounce for even more of a dip for nice plays going into the next few months. So again, um, this is the overall market. We are going to be trying to hold the highs that we did see um, a few days ago, basically. And um, if we do not, if we basically, if we continue to sell off going into tomorrow on any of these and possibly all of these, then we may even see um, every single stop coming down with it. And again, I'm going to be posting a video on Doge in the next video. So um, definitely check that out if you guys want. A lot of people have been wondering if Doge is going to go to a dollar as they are going to be on SNL um, on May 8th, um, which is in a couple of days. And we are going to be waiting for a possible breakout on that. But other than that, um, there's only scout plays that I've been playing. Um, AMS has a possibility of breaking out going into tomorrow. That's really about it for um, as far as possible breakouts other than Doge. But um, and again, we are going to be careful. Let the plays come to you. Um, don't let your emotions get to you. Obviously, it's really easy to as um, there's a lot of nice uh, dips right now. But again, the overall market looks like it might shoulder down. So we're definitely going to be careful. But again, much love to everybody in the comment section as always. Hope you guys have been enjoying our entries and breakouts. And if you guys do have a watch list, tickers, questions, throw it in the comment section. I love talking to you guys. Um, and if you guys do like this video, it does help other people find it and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.